Every day is a new day, isn't it? After all, every morning, despite the pitch black darkness of the night, the sun comes up again. Each and every morning, the love and the mercy of God toward you and me is fresh and new. Every morning, we open our eyes to a new day as we step into the future that's just arrived on our doorstep. Everything is new, or at least that's the way it's meant to be. Unless you happen to be carrying over things from the past, stress, worry, regret, hurt, debt, disappointment, the list of things that we carry over from yesterday into today is, well, it's quite a list. So even though the sun comes up afresh every morning, even though God's mercies are new every morning, we kind of feel compelled to carry over the weight of the past in our hearts, around our necks, on our shoulders. Doesn't that strike you as odd? I mean, doesn't it strike you as, well, let me be perfectly blunt here, completely crazy? Yet we all do it to some extent. So can I ask you today, what burdens of the past are weighing on your heart, on your spirit today? What scenario are you still playing over and over and over again in your mind as though ruminating over it is somehow going to make things better when all along all it actually does is make the hurt hurt more? If you're a parent, you'll know the ache in your heart when you see one of your children suffering. What you want to do for them is to take the pain away in an instant, isn't that right? You want to set them free and see a smile back on their face. And it's especially bad when you know that they're suffering needlessly, when it's an emotional thing that could so easily be taken away, I mean, in an instant. And yet it's completely outside your power to do so. Every parent knows what I'm talking about. Why then do we imagine that what's going on in God's heart for his children is any different? Well, there is one difference. He has the power to take those hurts away from you. That's why I come back to this powerful verse about freedom from your past over and over again. Because I believe that today, God wants to set you free from your past. Please listen to God, to his word closely and carefully. Listen to it as though he's speaking directly and powerfully to you. Because he is. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. If anyone is in Christ, there is a new creation. Everything old has passed away and see, everything has become new. A new start, a new freedom, a new perspective, a new life. That's God's word, fresh for you today.